Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. And this one is on, it's take two on the 330CI E46 SMG. So this car is actually our father's car. Um, we did bring it onto the channel, I think the day he picked it up. Um, it is a 330 SMG, which is a bit weird. And I sort of made the assumption that the SMGs in the 330s were the same as the SMGs in the M3s and that he'd be able to do a manual conversion really easy but it turns out he could not. It's completely different. No, yeah, these SMGs are actually a ZF transmission where the SMG in the E46 M3 is a Getrag. And what that means is it does need a completely different gearbox to do a manual conversion. Now he has been plodding along with this car, but what made it even more confusing is when he picked it up, it had the M3 uh, gear shifter and also the M3 steering wheel. So that was another reason that I assumed it had the same SMG transmission as the M3, but it's not, is it Dave? No, it's just not the case at all. <laughs> no. And if you haven't seen the first video we did on this, when he actually picked this car up, because it had the, the M3 shifter, he never had the sport button. So we couldn't actually get this car into its sports mode. And the result was a horrific zero to hundred time. That really killed the car. So we, well, Phil bought the car and you know, we're thinking it's got all these M3 bits. It's, you know, it's nearly an M3 and it's, uh, you know, still a three liter straight six and it's had all this sporty bits added onto it but it turns out that those sporty the m3 parts added just made it slow because you couldn't actually access sports mode yeah we will put a clip in right now of the last time we attempted a zero to 100 in this car 2000 rpm takeoff again <laughs> you shouldn't laugh it's almost funny race car <laughs> feels quicker though it sounds good Okay, that was a 9.1, I've switched it to kilometers an hour, that was a 9.1 kilometers an hour and an 8.3, 60 to 130. Now, we haven't had done much to this car since that for that last video. Uh, apart from found a sport button, thanks to Gresham Performance down in Brisbane. Matt, you are a legend for finding that. Black grill on the front, which look awesome. Yes, actually, I can't remember, but it also had smoked guard flashes. Our old man just wiped the smoked paint off. He's put the later model would you call it an M4 style grill? Yeah. Basically the dual line grill in it. And he also picked up on Marketplace, nice and cheap, I think he said they were out six, six or seven hundred bucks, a set of 19 inch M3 reps with good tires. Um, I can't remember why he did that. I think he just wanted black wheels, didn't he? Yes, yeah, so, well, they had a, they had like F30 style wheels on from memory and it just looked weird. Whereas I think it actually looks a lot better with these wheels on, although they are bloody heavy. They have a really heavy <laughs> wheel, <laughs> not, a, not a race wheel. The car, when he got it, had oh. recently been debadged. So he has put a black 330 badge on it with the carbon trim on the back. It all, it's all actually looking quite good. Obviously, it's awesome. it is got the shadow line window trim as well. I really like it. And on the and it's had a big clean as well on the interior. So all the leather has come up quite nice. It also had, when he first got it, uh, like carbon fiber Stick stuck on onto trim. everything in the interior. Uh, so it, it actually looks it's quite a nice car. It is coming up quite nice. All right, so the big thing now is now that we have sports mode, we can engage launch control. And I have done it once. I actually, I fitted the sports button. Well, it wasn't even in that location. It was just plugged in. And then went to see if we could do a launch and it do, it will. It will like, I think it drops the clutch at about 4,000 RPM. That's gonna make a difference for that takeoff. So let's take it for a quick drive, get some heat into it and just see if the draggy times are any better. Fingers crossed. What do you reckon it's gonna do? I reckon with sport mode, perfect run. It shouldn't be too traction limited, even on the wind run tires, because it's still not a powerhouse. It's not an M3. I'm gonna say, I wanna say like 6.9, but it could still be in the sevens. I'm saying seven and a half, right. but we'll see how we go. All right, let's take a spin. So we're just gonna cruise around. As I said, actually, I might wait till we get some proper heat into it. Oh no, it's been running for a while. Um, but yeah, I do want to demonstrate the difference between sports mode and regular with this gearbox because it's got to be one of the laziest SMGs I've ever experienced. Well, that said, I think it's probably one of the smoothest as well. It's much smoother than the E60 M5 one. I was going to say, it's really not a bad gear. If you're not a racing car driver, if you don't want to thrash the car, which I think most people that were buying these 330s, it could have even been a lot of guys, like they were, wives they were, having them. Yeah, business owners, like a rep mobile type thing. Yeah, I think it would have been a fantastic gear, but everyone hates on the SNG and it isn't a, a great driver's gearbox, especially this one, but it's smooth. Very and it's, smooth. You can just put it in auto and drive it like an automatic car. I've got to say the car also went for a wheel alignment since Phil bought it, um, ah. but claimed about it tires. So actually it's driving much nicer than, than when he yeah, first got to. it as well. It does feel better. All right, it's got some heat. I'm gonna, we've got some 
a bit of a curvy road. So it's in fourth gear at the moment. I've just got it in auto. And actually, I'll go manual. So slap to the right, third, second. And then flat out change. So that was a flat out change at high RPM. And the car's moving, but it, to be honest, that didn't seem too bad. What I think we should do to really demonstrate it is we'll go from a standstill. Okay, because okay. It's yeah, from, from the driver's seat, when your foot it's welded to the floor, that I probably didn't feel too bad because the car was going quick to you. And the, and the shift looked okay on camera as well. But you, me, it was probably two seconds after yeah, you hit the it, shift. Yeah, it feels like, why is there still nothing happening? All right, we'll, yeah. we'll do a better demonstration on this little straight road down here. Two seconds. Yeah, so this is sport. This is not sports mode, just accelerating from an ex well from a standstill. Let it do the shifting. Pretty, pretty slow shifts. It's very gentle, it's, it's smooth, I'll give it that. All right, and now we'll show you what it does in sports mode. And we've now got sports mode activated. Still in full auto, it's in first, and go. Okay, it's still smooth. But it feels like it's pulling quicker. Yeah, it's, it's definitely quicker in sports mode. Yeah. All right, what well, I'm keen to see is what the sports mode's like on an actual launch control when it's shifting at yeah. proper times. All right. I reckon it's gonna actually not notch up the aggressiveness a lot. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so traction control on these things, or oh, launch control, I should say, to enable it, you need to go hold the DSC button for three seconds. And not only will you get the DSC light, you'll also get a brake warning light just down there in the corner. And from then, you have gotta make sure you're in sports mode and it's just a matter of mashing the throttle. You ready? I'm ready. Whoa! That's big. That hooked up. Just, whoa. whoa! That change. Okay, we're good. I'll do the 120. Okay. Now, unfortunately, what we're not good about is had the draggy set mile per hour. Uh, but zero to 60 miles per hour, that was 7.48 seconds. Oh. Oh, so it's still quite slow. It's very slow. Still, I think that's a couple of seconds quicker. Let me just switch it over to metric and I'll give you guys an update shortly. Oh, yeah, we're ready. I'm gonna go. Good to go. Let's see if it'll shift on its own. God, it's a hard shift. That's violent. Okay, 7.89, so a little bit quicker. And 60 to 120, 7.2. <laughs> Still not a quick car. It feels pretty good though. So in, when we did it last time, it felt terrible because it's so everything was so gentle. But now you're getting violent. Now shifts. it's violent, and it feels like it's going through the RPM quicker, even though the times aren't. Well, they're still they're still a fair bit quicker. To be fair, it's not M3 quick, but it's still a fair bit quicker. Should we do one more? I think so. That's that's a lot of fun to do. Well, oh. You didn't get that before. <laughs> All right. Well, and we're getting we're getting quicker. We're over a second faster than what it was without sports mode, or last time we tried anyway. Oh. Bird's eye view of the speedo. Ready? Good to go. That was three grand it dumped the clutch then. Yeah. That shift is awesome. Okay. That was slower. That was the 120. All right, so we ended up with three zero to 100 runs. The first run was 7.94. Uh, that was the one where I had it switched in miles per hour. The second run was 7.89, but unfortunately it was invalid. And the third run was 7.95, and that one did validate as well. So pretty consistent times. They're all basically 7.9s. That's also not, not atrocious for a six cylinder, three liter naturally aspirated car. Yeah, not that to this age, not with two people in the car, not with heavy aftermarket wheels, but it is still a fair bit off its factory time. Which we find, the older the car gets, the further away from the factory time they seem to be. And look, we are spoilt with the zero to hundred times with the N54s now, especially your thing. And it's I really, up. it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I mean, it's launching at 3000 RPM. These are Chinese tiny, they're Linglongs. I, legit, I think they're called Linglongs. Um, 
and they're spinning for a fraction of a second but then the car does bog down a bit it's yeah. almost like they've got too much traction it, it needs a thousand rpm more and it would just spin a little bit further yep. and be a little bit quicker all in all the car is a thousand times better with this sports mode it, it changes the entire driving experience completely all right we're gonna end off there guys thank you very much for watching but we have revisited the 330 um our old man has actually been completely daily driving this car the only reason we have it at the moment we actually lent our parents the e90 vargas car just so they had something nice to drive around in while our mum was just out of hospital because the two door is a bit rough and it actually it's, it's not the nicest thing in the it's world. surprising this is stock suspension this car and it's it feels it's like it's on harsh. coilovers it's yeah more harsh than my bc uh, e92 that's for sure mm. all right enough nattering on thank you very much for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one peace out